It's the Daily Dog. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to the Daily Dog. Thanks for being with me today. I think I have a good one for you today, my friends. For the first time in a little bit, we are going back to music by Dire Straits. And I am happy that you are here. Uh, I have previously reacted to uh, Telegraph Road and Sultans of Swing from this band, but I have been requested uh, quite a bit, actually, to listen to their song called Brothers in Arms. And I'm happy that you're here. This is going to be a first time listen for me. This is the title track from their fifth album uh, released in May of 1985. This album uh, continues to be a big commercial success for Dire Straits all around the world. It has sold to date more than 30 million copies. And uh, this is, of course, the landmark album that has the big hits Money for Nothing uh, and Walk of Life, both of which I have heard. But Brothers in Arms, I have not yet. So uh, I'm eager to listen to this one. Um, at the time that this album was being um, recorded and produced, most albums were still being recorded on analog equipment. But on this particular album, as I read in, uh, the band went to Montserrat in the Caribbean, and they recorded on a state-of-the-art uh, Sony 24-track digital tape machine. And so this was one of the first albums to be recorded and crafted with a compact disc in their sites as a format to uh, to release this on. Uh, quite interesting. Uh, Mark Knopfler wrote uh, this song back in 1982 during uh, the Falklands War. Uh, this, is, uh, this was a short-lived uh, conflict where the uh, United Kingdom and Argentina uh, sparred over governmental control of uh, these strategically located islands in uh, the South Atlantic Ocean. And uh, this is a song that talks about uh, war itself and the folly of it, I believe. So I am eager to get into this particular song. Mark Knopfler not only wrote the song, he provides guitars and vocals. Uh, John Ilsley is on the bass and vocals. Alan Clark is on keyboards. Guy Fletcher is on keyboards and vocals. And Omar Hakim is on the drums. Uh, as I was looking and getting ready to record, y'all, the official video cuts this song down to about five minutes. But on the original album, it's seven minutes. So that's the one that I'm going to go with. I'm going to take the longer route. And so this is the original studio recording. Off we go. This finishes out the album, the last song on the album. This is how they leave us. Descending thirds, one to six to four, G sharp minor, pretty sure. And that's a G sharp hanging out for all of those chords, right? These mist covered mountains are all now for me. Relative major. And you're no longer burn to be brothers in arms. And you'll no longer burn to be brothers in arms. Boy, his vocal delivery is understated, isn't it? It's a real vulnerable way of, of singing. 
It's not bombastic. He's not beating you over the head with it. He's just talking to us. Through these fields of destruction Baptisms of fire So again, it re resolves to the relative major before going back to the relative minor. I think this is talking about a specific soldier. I've witnessed your suffering as the battle rage higher, and though they did hurt me so bad, okay? In the fear and alarm, you did not desert me, my brothers in arms. I think that the person doing the speaking is has been mortally wounded. And their brothers, you know, are there for them. at the understatedness of this track. Mark has such a flair on the guitar. There's so many different worlds and so many different suns, and yet we have just this one world and we live, but we live in different worlds. Fade out. I kind of lost myself. I lost myself in this. What a beautiful, beautiful, understated tune. This is. I've, in every single instance that I've come across music uh, by Dire Straits, always tasteful, always impeccably. Uh, performed and it shows real craft in the songwriting they they didn't have to beat us over the head with that particular tune 
to make it impactful. Really, really impactful. Wow. Wow. Um, what a tune. What a tune. Indeed. So, uh, as I go back through and see what he's talking about here, in, in the first couple of verses, I think he's talking about um, the short-lived nature of uh, heated conflict that imparts this emotional turmoil that uh, lasts long after uh, the events that happen on the battlefield. And I do think specifically he's talking about a soldier who's been wounded uh, mortally and uh, whose brothers in arms stay by his side. And then in this third verse, I think he's uh, concluding and making the point uh, that war itself is inherently foolish, uh, but it's written in the starlight and every line in your palm uh, that every man has to die. That's that's what comes before it. And then he says, we're fools to make war on our brothers in arms. Um, it's a strong statement of the folly um, of war and of the uh, untold and vast physical, mental, cultural damage. You know, it damages people, but it damages entire societies and cultures too when we go through these uh, these conflicts like this. And, you know, in the case of the Falklands, it's just these islands that just happen to be, you know, strategically located. The, the Argentina's like, hey, that's, that's part of our homeland. And the UK is like, no, that's part of our empire. And, you know, stuff happens. Uh, I did read that a new version of this song was released, uh, I think, 20 years after the fact, 2006 or 7, uh, by Mark Knopfler in order specifically to raise money uh, to bring veterans of the Falklands War back down there. Uh, to treat to help them come to terms with their memories and their lingering uh, post-traumatic stress that they have from that time. Uh, I will also note that uh, today is November 16th. We're just uh, less than a week after uh, Armistice Day, which is November 11th, which is observed uh, here in, in uh, America as Veterans Day. And uh, it came on a Friday, and I was finishing up Tales from Topographic Oceans by Yes. So I didn't observe the day on the channel, but I was thinking about it quite a bit. And um, I'll say this. I think like many, uh, I am conflicted on days like this. I really am. I'm, of course, extremely thankful for the dedication and sacrifice of our veterans, uh, but I'm also pretty consistently <laughs> distraught at what we continually ask these people to do in our name um, and um, how we generally go about treating them once the fighting is done. I'm really not happy about what we ask them to do and then once they do it, uh, for better or for worse, uh, how they're treated. Uh, when they return home. So uh, I'm hopeful that we continue to lift up those that are on the front lines and that do the fighting. And I'm also uh, mindful that we uh, put in and install and have leaders that are responsible in the way that we use force, uh, especially when it involves the inflicting of so much pain and trauma and, and, um, these types of situations where we are put in situations that can kill us or really mess up our brains for <laughs> for a long, long, long time. And so I'm thankful to, to folks like Mark Knopfler and Dire Straits who write songs specifically on this topic and do so, so well. Uh, I'm really happy to have finally heard Brothers in Arms off of this classic album from Dire Straits. Uh, it sounds like the whole album is worthy. Uh, I'll have to get into more than just the hits that have been released from this one. So maybe more Dire Straits in the coming uh, days and weeks on the channel. But that's all for today. I am thankful that y'all have been hanging out with me. This has been Brothers in Arms by Dire Straits. Thanks, y'all. We'll see you next time on another edition 
of the Daily Doug.